So what is a business plan and what are the typical? So business plan is a formal written document which describes the company's business future over three to five years. In short, it tells us what you plan to do and how you plan to execute it. Sometimes a business plan can make or break a small business deal as it provides a clear roadmap for your company's future. So what's the difference between the business plan and a business case? Some might think that the business case and business plan sound pretty similar to each other, but in reality, they are different. So it is important to understand the difference between the business plan and business case. So business plan is a long term proposal or a detailed plan to get a new business or any challenge or change to the existing project. While business case is a short term proposal for strategy or any new project. To sum it up, a business plan is a strategic document while a business plan is a tactical document. So that's the basic difference between the business plan and the business case. So what are the typical elements of a business plan? The specific details that you probably include in a business plan would depend mostly upon your business audience. However, irrespective of the audience, generally all business plans have some typical elements which are like the executive summary. This is usually the first page. The executive summary of a business plan sets the stage for rest of the document. It includes company's vision and mission statement, value proposition and the long term goals, which explains the main focus of your business. It briefly tells us what is your company all about and why it exists in market and why it will be successful. Next that we have is the company overview. This is basically a snapshot of your business, the registered trademark name, the physical address of your company, some key stakeholders in the company, history and the nature of the company products offered by your company. So you have to be very specific and list out some key customers as well, the organizations or business with which companies plan to work. Next is the product description. So that is what your business plan should include is a detailed description of the product or services you will provide. So this section should illustrate how your product will benefit your target audience or customers. Objective statement. So the objective statement should clearly define your company's goal and contains the business strategy that details how you plan to achieve them. This section normally explains how the financing will help grow your business in future and achieve some realistic targets. For example, if you are introducing a new product in the market, then you need to provide a detailed information as to how this financing will help company launch the new product and thereby increase the sales and the profit. Next is the marketing plan. This is simply an explanation of what your marketing strategy is and how you will execute it. In which geographies are you going to launch? What is your critical marketing strategies for those geographies? How can you persuade potential customers to buy your product, this new product? And this set your business apart from your competition. Next is the competitor analysis. So this competitive analysis of the competitive research will show what the other businesses are doing and what are their strengths and weakness. What do successful competitors are doing? What is the best strategy? What you can do better than them? So one tool which you can use is the SWOT analysis, which is basically organized way to format this section. You can check out this video on what is SWOT analysis on my YouTube channel. I will share the link in the i button above 
and also put a link in the description so for that just check out this video and last but not the least is the financial planning so it says that you how will your business will generate enough profit to repay the loan or how will you will earn enough decent return for your investors so it says like money does not grow on trees even the most digital and the sustainable business have expenses companies need to plan their financials according to which includes your assets liabilities expenses and debt so investments and returns occurs in repay it outlines how your business will generate enough profit that means whatever you have generated from that uh, loan how will you repay it back to the the stakeholders so here you will provide your business the monthly or the quarterly sales estimate expenses and the profit estimates over the period of next 3 years so these are the typical elements of business plan normally there are some addition to this but this is typically what we see in a good business plan now how you draft your business plan can make or break your business deal therefore having a good business plan do have some advantages let us look at them some of them it provides a clarity to the decision maker in bringing all the aspects together in a single document so that is more of clarity to the stakeholders it provides a marketing road map as to how to grow in different geographies with different strategies it helps in defining the key milestones the so that you can work towards them and achieving it it helps in tracking the project performance regularly it also gives insight of what your competition is doing in the market so that you can move ahead of that so these are typical benefits of the business plan so i hope you have understood this concept of business plan its importance some of the typical elements of business plan if you still have any question on this particular topic you can leave your comments or queries in the comment section below also please forward this uh, video to all your friends and colleagues thank you and see you in my next video so that is all i have on this video if you like it click here to subscribe do hit the like button as well share this video with all your friends on different social media platforms and if you have any specific suggestions or topic for my next video you can let me know in that comment section below and please let me know your thoughts as well on this particular video